All right, guys, welcome back to the channel where we screw shit up, fix it, screw it up again, fix it, and screw it up and fix it again, right? So, um, a couple of videos ago, I made some brackets to fix a problem that I had with the shocks, the rear shocks on the car. Um, I wanted to redo them because I don't like the way that it sits or that it's going to sit, I should say. And I don't tr totally trust it, to be honest. So, um, the, you know, the car's going to make about 1,500 horsepower. It's going to 60 foot in the 118 range, just guessing. That's pretty hard on parts. So, I'm going to show you how to use this and this to fix the boo-boo again. So, follow along. We're going to do some layout work real quick. Get this piece of material cut up to make the new shock brackets. All right, so we're going to use the same spacing, the same dimensions and everything that came off of the other brackets. We're just going to move them over a little bit. Normally we would want to avoid this seam if possible. In this particular case, there's not gonna be any way around it. All right, so there's the first step in layout. So let's take this thing over to the milling machine and we're going to hole saw a hole right down through the middle of it. shock brackets get them fixed up the right way we kind of want it to look good so we're going to these are doublers are you gonna round it yeah pretty sweet so then I'm gonna use the the grinder or the sanding? Yeah, we're going to use the belt sander to, just to uh, round this stuff off. We'll cut some of it off of the saw. Okay, so this is the part that I just laid out. This is what we're going to do with it. It's going to get welded on here, something like that. And it's going to have bolt holes in it, just like the control arm brackets have for the, the height adjustment. So... Now we'll round these corners off, we're going to weld it in place, and then we're going to drill them all at the same time. Okay, so Brian's working on the, the doublers for the shock mounts. As soon as he gets those ground, we're going to weld them together and we're going to go ahead and start putting them on the rear end. And uh, then we'll be putting the rear end back in the car here pretty quick. Okay, so we're over here in the machine shop and we got the brackets and everything's all welded together now. And we're going to go ahead and drill the holes in this thing. Uh, where, where the shock bracket mounts to it. So, uh, I was just showing Brian how we get this stuff set up. I got the layout lines on it, and I'm going to take turn the camera around so you can see that right now. Okay, so there's the first layout line. These holes are spaced three quarters of an inch apart. 
So we'll go ahead and center drill them, get them set up at least. Okay, so the YouTube armchair quarterbacks will argue that this <laughs> drill is spinning too fast, that the chip shouldn't be coming off of their blue, um, that it's not spinning equal chips out, which it actually was. Um, in Machine Shop 101 is that there's surface footage requirements and all this technical jargon but the the long story short is that if the chips are blue or coming out discolored the heat is being taken away in the chip and it's not in the part okay so Look, you want blue chips you don't necessarily want blue chips but if they're coming out it's, it's not, not even hot it's not, not hot at all. at all not at all so you notice that I didn't stay buried right. you, in the part worked it if you off. stay buried in the part the drill will get hot and then you will have problems yeah. You see that YouTube? It works. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna set up, we're gonna drill the second bracket and uh, get that knocked out real quick. Okay, so the other part of that I was gonna show everybody is that the quality of the holes. Um, some of you guys that have been around for a while have seen the, the drill bit sharpening video and it's, some of the comments on there just, you know, well, self-explanatory. But I wanted to show you, that is a hand sharpened drill you saw how fast I drill it. The quality of the hole is what I wanted you to look at now. And I'm going to see if this thing will zoom in correctly. Uh, there. You can see the hole. The holes are perfect. Now, no, I didn't measure them. Um, this isn't going on the space shuttle. And the tolerance is not that critical. And oh my god, some of the comments on the other video. But no, anyways, we're going to drill this other shock bracket. And let's get that thing... Uh, installed in the rear end and in the car. Okay, so we machined the shock brackets, the new shock brackets, and got them all cleaned up. Now they're ready to be put back on the rear end, or to be put on the rear end housing. Uh, we clamped a bar across there that's going to locate the brackets in the same plane as the control arm brackets, so there won't be any issues there. Everything's located, ready to tack and weld in place, and then we'll get the rear end put back in the car. Alright, so we covered some serious ground in this video. The uh, the rear end is already back in the car. We didn't record any of that because it's always such an ass whip getting that thing put back in there. Um, but anyways, Brian came over, helped me out. We got a bunch done, got the new brackets finished up, got them on the rear end housing. So I'm going to grab the camera and take it up under the car and show you what everything looks like. And it turned out great. Uh, I couldn't be happier with that. Um, I just couldn't sleep at night with that bracket thing that I had before and I just didn't have any confidence in it so let's get the camera look under the car to see what it looks like and then uh, we'll talk about the next plans okay so there it is it fits perfect uh, looks factory ish uh, turned out exactly like I had in mind so things gonna work great there's the other side okay as you saw we got a whole lot covered in this video um, Brackets back on the housing, rear end back in the car, car sitting back on the ground for a change. Uh, it's starting to come together. It's starting to look like something. So um, that, I'm really looking forward to that. Now, the fun part will be coming up with the wiring and the plumbing and tuning and all that jazz. So having said all that, that's the end of the video, guys. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Um, 
If you haven't, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Um, I, I always post pictures on there almost daily, in fact, of projects and progress and things like that. Um, so you kind of get a little sneak peek of what's going to be coming in the next video. So uh, that's it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.